In Chapter 9, we'll look more closely at the SPI port on the QSSI module. The QSSI, or Quad Synchronous Serial Interface, contains four independent modules. Each module contains four channels each with advanced BI and Quad SSI functionality. Freescale SPI, or TI Synchronous Serial Interface standards, are supported in legacy mode. Freescale interface is supported in BI and Quad SSI modes. All four channels can operate in master or slave modes with programmable bit clock rates and prescaler. Data frame sizes are programmable from 4 to 16 bits. Each channel has a separate 8 by 16 bit transmit and receive FIFO. Each channel has DMA support with separate channels for transmit and receive. BY SSI uses two data pins that can be configured to transmit or receive data. QUAD SSI uses four data pins. This allows four bits of data to be transmitted or received at the same time. Note that the BY and QUAD SSI data transfers are half duplex. Each SSI module can provide an interrupt to the CPU. Since this is a single source interrupt, it will be cleared automatically. Conditions under which an interrupt can be generated are when the transmit FIFO is half full or less, when the receive FIFO is half full or more, if the receive FIFO times out, if the receive FIFO overruns, at the end of the transmission, when the receive or transmit DMA transfer is complete. You can enable interrupts to occur on these conditions individually. Your interrupt handler code must check to determine the source of the SSI interrupt and clear the appropriate flags. There are separate channels for transmit and receive. When enabled, the SSI will assert a DMA request for the receive or transmit FIFO to transfer data. For the receive channel, a single transfer request will be made when any data is in the receive FIFO. A burst transfer request will be made when four or more items are in the receive FIFO. For the transmit channel, a single transfer request will, will be made when there is at least one empty location in the transmit FIFO. A burst transfer request will be made when four or more of the slots are empty. In Lab 9, we'll create a simple program to write a series of bits to the Olamex LED Array Booster Pack via the SPI port. In order for this older booster pack to work with the connected launch pads pinout, the connections to the SPI port pins were rewired using a protoboard. You might ask why the SPI interface LCD on the educational booster pack wasn't used for this lab. The interface to the LCD would involve driver software to format the data stream. This would make the code fairly complex and distance the experience from learning about the SPI port on the Tiva C-Series device.